Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Rise of the Podcast. I am Jeremy. I'm Kara. I'm Keith. And I'm Brownie. And today we're playing a game, a special game in honor of Keith being here, called Cursed Items. Ooh. So uh, Keith has a horror anthology film with a premise based around whether or not a story is true or false. And so in that vein, I have collected seven cursed items for you guys. Uh, Each round, you'll see an image of the item and a fact about that item. And then you can discuss amongst yourselves if you want to. Uh, Obviously, you're playing for yourselves, but if you just sort of want to do some gamesmanship or something or try and quiz me a little bit about the item, I may or may not give you some more insight into it. But then you have to make the determination of whether or not it is an actual cursed item or cursed item I just made up. Oh. Mm. So, for example, the sarcophagus <clears throat> in Egypt. Yep. People have touched it and died. died. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. So it'll be like, yeah. So it'll be like touching the sarcophagus will kill you, <gasps> will be the cool. fact. Or God, whatever. This and is then, cool. Yeah. yeah so, this is a good game. Fun. So, there are seven rounds, a lucky number to balance an unlucky collection of objects. Jeremy's going to get 13 wrongs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I spoke it's in third true. Person, I mean, but... if anybody can do it, Jeremy can. <laughs> <laughs> I, I may or may not award bonus points. Uh, that I leave that at my discretion as this is my can game. Can you award bonus negative points? Uh, yeah. That's if how I, I get if the 13 I'm, wrong. If I'm <laughs> no partic- bones. If I'm particularly <laughs> offended by the answer that you provided. <laughs> but isn't it just cursed? Is, is it just yes or no? It, it's uh, um, it's true or false. Give me one second. It is it is either true or fake. True okay. or fake. True or fake. True or fake. Don't write false. That's a negative point. Wait. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, because they're both four letters. You'll you'll see as you're going through. There's like a graphic design Got choice. It. This is why it, it was. This true. will be fun. Cool, cool, cool. I like it. I'm ready. All right. So let us begin with round one. Let us right. begin with round one of cursed items. So round one is the Thomas Busby chair. This chair has killed 63 people. All right, so should we? I think we should talk amongst each other so yeah. the audience can see what we see. So They can see this chair. Here's my thing. First off, it is hanging on a wall. Therefore, they don't want anybody to sit on it. <laughs> right, exactly. That is that's, the precise reason why it's on the wall. That's why I really? was, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Is it wrong I want to sit on it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd be a, a widow statistic? real soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, and I wonder like what the means of and of, of death are like right. Okay, so does, like, do people like topple out of it, or do they sit in it and then have an unfortunate accident sometime mm-hmm. after? Mm-hmm. But it's yeah, tucked in a corner too. Like it's it's hung up and it's tucked in this way that even if you wanted to, you couldn't sit on it. Like I know what I'm writing. All right, we're all set with our answers. Let's go ahead and reveal them to the camera in three, two, one. Whoa! So two trues and a fake. Whoa, oh, man! Um, Whoa. You that know, is a high death toll for a chair. I d- no, that's true. <laughs> that isn't going to die. Okay, here's the other thing, toll. though. It's an old chair. That looks like an old chair to me. I mean, that could yeah. be like 100 years old. 63 people in 100 years? That's not that much. I'm not sitting in that chair. All not right. am no, I. No. Well, let's go ahead and reveal the correct answer. Oh, no. It's true. Oh, yes, kids. Oh, this boy. one. I will now read <laughs> a little bit of information. The Thomas Busby chair was allegedly wow. cursed by criminal and murderer <laughs> Thomas Busley, Busby Shortly before his execution, reportedly, 63 people have sat in this chair and have subsequently died shortly thereafter. Oh, okay. It was, down- it was donated to a museum <laughs> who have hung the chair one and a half meters above the ground to prevent anybody else from suffering the curse. Boom. Do you like how I picked up that it was hanging on the wall? I do. So wow. this, this is then a, like... It's not like they immediately topple out of it and boom, smack their head on something. It's like it, it, it's, somewhere, it's somewhere in the, in the, in the, in near, the future. near future, after sitting in the chair, people die. You know, you could probably make that claim about a lot of chairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. But still, um, I'm not sitting in that chair. Jeremy, that chair has it? nothing on the electric chair. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. Round two, the hmm. Laurent Locket. The Laurent no Locket. No way. <laughs> Every owner of this locket has gone bald. Well, I mean, this makes me wonder if it's if it's a hereditary thing. If this locket right, is passed right. down in one family, right? And then it's and how would that affect a female? Oh, but right. here's the thing: would a pocket watch be or lock? It looks like a pocket watch. To me. It's is a it actually a locket. Yep. So a locket would be passed down to females, I suppose. I don't know how many men carry around a locket. Mm, good point. And did the locket made them go bald, or was it some type of radiation treatment? Did they get cancer? What's the real? This question? looks old. That's this all looks very like maybe what, sixteen hundreds? Something. It definitely looks old. So that'd be before radiation. 
untrue. They had like radium and stuff as well, existed as long as the planet has. Yeah. No, I know, but like using radiation. Use, yeah. Here, suck on this gamma rock. <laughs> well, so like you heard about all those people who got cancer from painting like yeah, the, the, the glow in the dark watch and yeah. clocks and stuff. Oh, sure. But that was still but like you, you can have non glowy radioactive right. materials. Right. It's and this true. may or may not be something that was radioactive. Was this locket owner near Chernobyl? Uh, this predates Chernobyl by a lot. I was gonna say, mm. yeah. This can you is can old. you tell us how old it is? It's from the 1800s. Okay, so it's a real item. Okay, right. so I was I got my answer. Got my answer. Years. Here we go. All right, let's reveal our answers in three, two, one. Boom, fake, hundred percent. Fake, fake, fake. Everyone oh, thinks wow, that it's yeah. fake. All right, let's reveal the answer. You guys uh, are pretty smart. Yes. It's totally fake. <laughs> my so. reasoning for it was be fake is. No one fears being bald. <laughs> I mean, I really, from from a writing perspective, though, I really like what you came up with for, for that. That's a fun curse. That yeah. is a fun curse. The curse of Blackbeard the pirate spoons. Allegedly, eating with these spoons will kill you. If there's lead in them. You guys are seeming to come up with answers pretty well, quick. Yeah, type so of this discussion. one here, I think they look like they could be used as a stabbing device as well. Like those are some sharp spoons. But eating with it, not mm. right. You, you cut the roof of your mouth and get an infection. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you kind of had me at Blackbeard though, because anytime I hear the yeah. name Blackbeard, there's a curse I'll, I'll believe anything. Yeah, yeah right. That's right? true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Should we reveal? And like I said, it could be made out of lead. Yeah. Let, yeah. Let's see. Go, let's go ahead and see what your answers All are. You guys right. seem pretty conclusive. So we'll go in three, right. two, one. We got everyone says that it's true. All right, let's reveal the correct answer. Oh, oh I no. tricked you guys. Oh, no. Those are just some old spoons. <laughs> Man, it was really smart of you, though, to say Blackbeard. Yay. Yeah, it was. Let's move on to our fourth cursed item. It's the Dybbuk box. What's Hebrew? Yeah. Uh, this wine box will give you nightmares. The Dybbuk box. I wish I knew it. Mm. <laughs> So I'm seeing a dried flower down mm. below, or is that a gold flower? Could be gold. All of these items have a particular reason to be in this box. Interesting. It is really? Crazy. And this is the way the box was received. I'll, so I will tell you a little bit of the history of this box. The person who found this box to be cursed initially tried to purchase it from somebody, heard it was a family heirloom, refused to purchase it, and then was forced to buy it because the people that owned it didn't want it anymore. Wow. So they is had a, a... It looks like a lock of hair. Yeah. There are, there are two a, locks of hair. Is there a wishbone in there? So that Towards looks, the bottom? It looks like a rose, because there's a rose up here, too. But look at that. Is that a bone? I don't know. Or is that part, just part of the... I honestly can't remember what that is. I huh. see the low What's this, that? though? Like the brass cup. So that, that to me, looks like it'd be, like, for communion. Like a communion cup. I was thinking the same thing. And what does the Hebrew say? So and this I forget the one on the left looks like a, a Japanese hot tea kind of kind of cup. I know it's not Japanese, right. but well, it's, it looks like for it's a hot liquid. I think liquid. that's a W. Whatever, for whatever, that helps. The Dybbuk box. Are we thinking that it's a real cursed item or something I just made up? Looks like we're getting our answers in. Let's go ahead and reveal them in three, two, one. We've got true, fake, and true. This will Ooh. split the point board. This will be interesting. interesting. Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and reveal the correct answer. Oh, it is dang it. a real curse item. Kevin Mann was perched in this wine cabinet in 2001 and started having terrible nightmares. He gifted the cabinet to his mother, who <laughs> suffered a stroke the same day. <gasps> Each person who has subsequently owned the Dybbuk box has reported horrible events. The last owner of the cabinet discovered the box possesses the spirit of a malicious Jewish creature called the Dybbuk, who has the ability to haunt and possess the living. Interesting. Ooh. Something about it just felt authentic to me. It did. Let us move on to round five, the fifth cursed item. Here we go. This oh, is gosh. the crying boy. Speaking of pictures... Apparently, this painting will burn down your house. Interesting, but it survives? Right. Oh, boy, I don't want to. So, mm. that's a very interesting story. Or if it burns it's down the wall that it, it's looking at. You know, I, so. But it says burn down the house. As I was talking about earlier, there's a short in Gravedigger Dave's Halfway House about a cursed picture, or at least a haunted picture. Um, so, I absolutely believe that pictures can contain the soul or the something of right. the person. 
painted there. But so. but if it, but if it survive, how does it survive being burned down? Yes. Yeah. If if it's cursed and it wants to burn down homes, it's going to protect itself. Mm. And if, if that, it's true, it might not burn down the house of the, the house that it's in. Maybe it burns down a different house. That's true. Yeah, if you gaze upon it, yeah. you burn down your home. Ooh. Yeah, you don't know. <clears throat> All right, people. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm to look at it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys have your answers ready. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and reveal them in three, two, one. Ooh, oh, true, I fake, and it. fake. Oh, oh man. Oh, All right, let's great. reveal the answer. I believe in cursed pictures. Yes. It's totally true. Ah. Oh, man. In September of 1985, a firefighter in Essex claimed that undamaged copies of this exact painting <clears throat> were frequently found amidst the ruins of burned houses. By the end of November, belief in the painting's curse was so widespread that mass bonfires of reproductions of the painting were being performed in an attempt to avoid the curse. Wow. So that is a true That curse sounds like item. a cool movie. Yeah, it does. Creepy AF. <laughs> I think we should move on to our sixth cursed item, the Klopman Diamond. This ring causes memory loss. Any initial thoughts? Man, something like looking at it and rings, I mean, there's a whole movie based on, you know, one ring to rule them all, so there's no rings. <laughs> that's true. You know, I don't think that's a documentary, people. Jeremy. Well, yeah. people believe art and taste life, right? So people believe Ooh. stuff like that. Can you give That's us any true. additional details about this one? All right, so allegedly, each uh, it's a ring for a woman. Each woman who has worn this has forgotten that she's been married and committed adultery. Oh. And they've a all likely traced, excuse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The ring did it. Yeah. And, and they, so they, they traced it through. Um, it was owned by a family. And then upon the divorce, it was sold, and it kept on happening. And the same jeweler kept on noticing this ring was coming through and asking what was going on and heard the same story over and over again. Weird. All right, uh, let's go ahead and reveal our answers in three, two, one. We have true, true, and fake. I, actually, oh. I think I'm wrong on this. I think I'm wrong. All right, let's go ahead and reveal. It's oh my made God. up. Oh, it's not a real thing at all. Because you, your story was so good. Elaborate. Yeah. So I had, I had already written fake, and I'm like, yeah, this story is so elaborate. Maybe it's true, and I almost like you even guessed named myself. the dang diamond. The uh, the the Klopman diamond in particular is an Easter egg from the Garfield and Friends TV show. <laughs> yes. So and um, Janae will appreciate that. Which yeah. takes its name from an old joke about a woman is on an airline, and people keep noticing she has this enormous gaudy ring, and someone finally asks, "Is like, what's the deal with the ring?" You know, it's like it's huge. It's like blah blah. blah. And she's like. Oh, um, it's the Klopman diamond. It's a, it's a gorgeous ring, but it comes with a curse. And they're like, well, what's the curse? And she's like, well, Mr. Klopman. <laughs> oh, that's Funny. a good joke. So. Man, I used to love Garfield and Friends. Round seven is the deadly phone number. This is less an object and more of an idea. Mm. Well, so having the phone number 359-888-888-888 is a death sentence. So, all right, Chris. Is that, it seems a little long to be a phone number. Where country is this originating? That's this England, is a, isn't it? This is a Bulgarian oh. phone number. Whoa. This is a phone number issued in Bulgaria. Hmm. The Bulgarian mafia doesn't want you to have that number. Interesting yeah. that you bring up the Bulgarian mafia. Allegedly, oh. two different mafiosos possessed this number and both were murdered. If you believe the story to be true. It seems I feel like, like a mafia would want, I don't know, if I was a boss, I'd want to have a cool number. <laughs> I feel like mafiosos are already kind of in, inclined to die unexpectedly. Okay. It's true, but... That is a fair point. All right, we're all ready. Let's go ahead and reveal in three, two, one. We have true, true, and fake. All oh, right. Please. I don't feel good about this. <laughs> Let's go ahead and reveal the correct answer. Yeah. It, yeah. it is a true curse. The Bulgarian phone number listed there was in use for 10 years and is now closed. All of the owners, all of the owners of this phone number died shortly after getting the number registered to, on their name. The first owner died of cancer, wow. while the other two, the mafiosos, were murdered shortly after getting the number. Whoa. That's pretty cool. So, there you go. Seven like cursed that. objects. Oh, man, that's a good me. one. I had a connection with this one. I just seemed like that would be a real number. I don't know. Well, so when I saw it, I was reminded of, you know, 555-5555. Right, the, the Hollywood phone yes. number that you see yeah. in movies. And I was like, 888-888-888. That doesn't feel Maybe like a real number. Maybe it's the Bulgarian version. Yeah. 
That's what I was thinking, Bulgarian Hollywood. So. <laughs> All right, so our final knows. scores. So Keith got two wrong, so he got five. Oh, my Congratulations Lanta. Congratulations to Keith. Kara had three right, and Jeremy had three right. Oh, man. So, congratulations to Keith. He knows his cursed objects. You know what won't curse you is liking this video if you made it this far <laughs> through. Uh, comment below which objects you got right and which you got wrong, or any other interesting stories about cursed items. There's a bunch of them out there. It's really cool sort of getting into it. Making up fake cursed items is also really fun. I suggest you try it if you haven't. Uh, subscribe if you're not already, and of course ring the notification bell if you want to be notified every time we upload a video. It means a lot to us, it helps the channel grow and everything. Uh, looks like Jeremy's committing murder. <laughs> yeah. That pen is so, a uh, it's possessed. Cursed. Yeah. Yes, it cursed is. Object. Is it forcing you to stab me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so do all the things. Thank you for watching, and of course... May the force be with you. 